the lines will be so blurry that it will not matter where it comes from it is only the content that will matter they'll not be south actors north actors it'll all be about indian cinema growing and i'm telling you we as indian entertainment industry are going to be the a very huge or probably one of probably the biggest players in in the next decade good afternoon everybody thank you i'd like to i'd like to thank the entire media for being here and taking this event to the hearts of the people thank you very much and it's an absolute delight to address to the national media for the first time in my life it's a great moment for me thank you thank you very much and i i am pretty positive that i will keep seeing you a lot more in the future thank you that's so nice of you sir that's so nice of you a brilliant human being a wonderful dancer a brilliant actor so what is that one thing that you see in a movie before signing you know a movie what is that one the special? intention the intention on what you're doing the film for right. are you doing it for the money are you doing it for the release right. or are you doing it for the audience the intention is above all right unfortunately sir because of um, um, the unfortunate uh, circumstances this took a lot of time you know absolutely bahut waqt lag gaya what do you have to say on that so you know it's a very difficult film to shoot we were shooting this film in a forest and uh, we were a crew of almost 500 people right and the logistics to provide 500 people food accommodation sanitation all this was very very difficult in a remote uh, forest area right so it is a very difficult to shoot a film to shoot especially during the covid times with so many covid restrictions mm-hmm. um i think i would always i said it earlier also this this one pushpa film was equal to four films effort <laughs> first of all i'd like to thank the audience all over the north for receiving south films and making it so big <laughs> not just about watching uh, south films in uh, not just about watching south films in the north we equally also admire bollywood you know hindi cinema we've always been admiring it for years for many many years we also invite hindi cinema to dub into our languages and come and we will be there to support your films also it is not about uh, you know south cinema or north cinema it's about indian cinema we're all we, i think we all will grow together as the biggest cinema in the world in the years to come as indian cinema thank you this is the first time uh, in spite of your movies working so well on satellite working so well online theatrically this is the first time your pan india film coming so henceforth like you have icon releasing uh, there is icon and there's probably a koratala seva movie also henceforth is every alu arjun movie going to be a pan india film I mean there is no uh, doubt about it there is no option preferably i would like to make it everything pan india because not just about pan india i'm saying why are we even restricting to that you know maybe somebody else wants to watch it somebody you know people in other countries maybe sri lanka neighboring countries pakistan other countries want to watch it we don't know you know language is no barrier for uh, uh, cinema so i think we should just go for i would say more than pan india i would say we should go for a multi language release and see how far we can go as indian cinema hi hello you look so pretty and beautiful Thank yet you. you portrayed uh, the character it is a reclaimed character yes. so did you have an, any inhibitions inhibitions no uh, i think i had no inhibitions when it came to i knew i was playing a different character i knew that i had to pour my heart soul sweat everything into this character because this is like i keep saying this is a whole different world that we're entering and uh, when you know actors like sirs doing such hard work and you know i'm getting this opportunity to you know uh, Uh, work with sir i can't have inhibitions and be like oh my god uh, do i look pretty do i look bad do i look this i have to worry about the performance i'm like am i <laughs> am i am i doing a good job am i doing that uh, is it coming through is this character staying strong what is happening so for me it was all about performance in this film and i think um once the audience see it on the 17th i think it will come through and uh, please give us your reviews <laughs> alu arjun and uh, ma'am uh, to second that i'd like to speak about how rashmika performed and what is it i truly uh, appreciate uh, rashmika ji for you know performing like this and taking up such a challenging role it is a little rustic role and it's not a very conventional glamorous role it is quite challenging and like you said i was fearing if would she feel 
that she's not looking good because that is a very huge factor that plays on the mind and if your mind is not clear your performance will not be clear but then after she landed on the set and she worked she started working i think she had the mindset that this film is this and we have to justify this film and she did a wonderful performance and i couldn't have performed if not for her her help because every artist should compliment you for your performance she performed so well it was very very comforting and it was very complimenting to work with such a wonderful artist tomorrow i'm sure you all will appreciate her performance she can't speak for herself but i can definitely speak for her because i've seen her perform in front of my eyes thank and you and the song that we uh, just witnessed you know you uh, performed uh, exactly like a stone man guy you know yet you looked so sexy <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> So uh really do some, I? Like, yeah of course little? and I was just going to ask you <laughs> I was after that I'll ask you I mean you look so handsome and uh, uh, looks good hunk. why thing. don't you why don't you do a romantic role also <laughs> uh-huh. my previous film was a romantic role <laughs> okay coming back to the song I was asked uh, the gestures that you did you know reminded me of so much of Rajni sir that small small nuances so will there be a comparison with the the thalaiwa ma'am more than comparison i'll say it's more of an influence because as born brought up from chennai so obviously i have a lot of subconscious absorption from big superstars like uh, rajni sir like kamal sir you know that's why if you see i'm very perform- like if you notice that then i you know then i came to hyderabad mr chiranjigaru is my own uncle you know when i see him he does he dances really well and there are his nuances so i think you know subconsciously when you work as a child when you uh, grow up seeing these people you absorb them and they they subconsciously in your mind not that i very consciously wants to do it if it came across like that also i don't have an issue and i think it's maybe a, you can say maybe it's a tribute for them <laughs> in a way my respects for them in a way <laughs> today uh, wikipedia says uh, allu arjun is an indian actor who primarily works in a particular industry or rashmika mandana is an indian actress who primarily works i think there is an uh, insane amount of respect and um, um, appreciation for all kinds of films um, i have seen that you know from the time i have been here i have seen that uh, we have welcomed uh, all kinds of movies and i'm not saying about us i'm talking about the indian audience um while i speak to you there's a friend uh, who's an rj in punjab who told me that listen please tell them that we are excited to watch the movie i have a 9 year old niece uh, who told me when city ma released that uh, you know it's allu versus sallu i said how did you know <laughs> so these are things when you say that you am i really uh, people do re, do really people love me that much there is an insane amount of love maybe which you will get to see with this film um i want to know do you see the changing shifts in the industries and the respect that is given to each other let her speak then i'll speak ha ah, yeah both of you i think there is an extreme uh, as in in the last decade i think we've seen such a shift in our cinema in our field um i've just entered the industry in 4 years but i've seen so much happening before i entered and when I'm a part of Indian cinema now and I can't be proud of it I couldn't have entered a better time you know I think this is the perfect time that I'm in the industry because I see uh like you said the languages are uh you know merging together we're having pan india releases it's going to be like so said indian films rather than south india film or you know a bollywood film it's not going to do that anymore in a couple of years i think it's just going to be indian cinema yeah you know probably we're going to glo- go globally you know dubbing our film in their languages so we just need to see the reach i think we should always experiment with that but uh, i think it's fa- fascinating and it's super uh, it's amazing to see all people just appreciate content now people just want good content um you know people want good film making and when you give it people appreciate it and they make it their own it's a very wonderful question that you asked by the way you should see cinema how it's running how the trends have been running in the last 10 years like i'm saying in the 2000s you know it's a very clear back between the south cinema and north cinema you know let's be honest about it uh and then if you see the entire 2010s you know the the bridges you know there's been beautiful bridges thanks to people like manish ji <laughs> you know who have uh, bridged those gaps uh 
and now everybody is getting familiar with each other's cinema and i am telling you from the next decade onwards from the 2020s the lines will be so blurry that it will not matter where it comes from it is only the content that will matter they'll not be south actors north actors it'll all be about indian cinema growing and i'm telling you with the wonderful platforms that have opened like otts there's so many set of new filmmakers directors actors technicians you know this has opened up amazing horizons for us in entertainment industry and we as indian entertainment industry not just cinema we as indian entertainment industry are going to be the a very huge or probably one of probably the biggest players in in the next decade and i'm very positive as a country we will go up uh but uh, uh you know on a, on a, you know in one of your earlier interviews you had mentioned uh, that you know uh, hindi film in your filmography is very important uh sorry can you be a little loud uh you had mentioned earlier that a hindi film in your filmography is very important for you uh have has there been offers that you have considered or probably now like you said you know the lines are blurring do you want to do a pure bollywood film uh, uh absolutely um uh, i love hindi cinema uh you know somehow i sometimes i even i use the word but i don't like to use that word bollywood as much as possible because you know it sounds like second to hollywood and hum kisi se kam nahi hum kisi se kam nahi so i like to say it hindi cinema <laughs> so even by habit you know sometimes even i say bollywood but i keep going as like no say hindi cinema hum kisi se kam nahi um coming back to your question i i love hindi cinema i love hindi music i appreciate them so much like i um, definitely it'd be a great uh, moment in my life to do a straight hindi film and uh, it will be a very it'll be a landmark point of my career and i want to make it i want to make the best choice possible and uh, to just answer what you said uh, there have been people who asked for films here and there but nothing very um, excited uh, nothing very exciting so i think slowly you know we are being having soft talks like if we can do something how is it to mount up something big because even the people who are coming they are also saying that when we have to come to you we have to come with something solid so i think once everything falls into place i think we i will try to plan uh with maybe little help of alwar and garu if he helps <laughs> no, also, uh, just a joking um uh, i think we'll try to come up with something big and you know make it memorable thank you thank you so much my dear rashmika it was a pleasure working with you you know you know everybody calls her national crush <laughs> you know i've heard of people who are calling her national crush so i simply cutely tease her on stage has like oh please come krashmika <laughs> national crush plus <laughs> rashmika thank you so much and i hope you all like and we all i'm hoping that we touch your hearts with pushpa 